Nebraska loses in a close game to number four Ohio State. Man, I am just utterly disappointed in this team. And yes, they played their hearts out. They played very well. They rebounded from getting embarrassed last week versus Indiana. But the exact same mistakes that we've seen all year kept appearing over and over and over again. And this game was ours for the taking. We were at the six-yard line. First in goal, we had four plays to punch in the end zone. We didn't do it. Okay, We were on the 30-yard line on one drive. We lost yardage and ended up punting. Okay, We had so many opportunities offensively to win this football game. Ohio State only scored 21 points. If you told me that going into this game, I would have told you Nebraska did a phenomenal place to win. Tony White did his job as our defensive coordinator. But once again, this offense did not do their job. Marcus Satterfield did not do his job on the very last drive where Nebraska is going to try to go down the field. They had two running back screens in a row that lost yards that didn't work the entire game. And then Dylan Royola proceeds to throw a back-breaking, awful interception. Somebody asked me yesterday on my live stream, they said, is Dylan Royola a clutch quarterback? And I said, I can't answer that yet. Obviously, he was not clutch versus Illinois, but we haven't seen enough of him. I can confidently tell you today, we ha- he is not a clutch quarterback, at least not in his freshman year. He missed wide open Jamal Banks for a touchdown early in those ball game. We ended up scoring zero points on that drive. He, again, he throws the interception to lose. He overthrew Ja'Cory Barney wide open in the end zone earlier. Okay, And it's not all his fault, but man, he can't help us out, it feels like. And he's our guy. He's our five-star quarterback, but he can't make those big plays that are enough to win football games like this. Marcus Satterfield, once again, was horrific. Awful, awful on offense. The defense did their job. The defense was awesome once again today. What, what they did, only giving up 21 points, shutting down the rushing attack of Ohio State, the best rushing attack in the country, that is commendable, that is un- unbelievable. But we had so many opportunities to win. And it just feels like we're in we're getting tortured as Nebraska fans. It feels like we're getting tortured because we're going back to the Scott Frost era. Where we play a good team. We actually play really well. And even though we play well, it's not good enough because we still have one or two errors that persist throughout the game. We can't make improvements. And here we are. Like we're we're living the same nightmare. It doesn't matter who the coach is, right? New coach, new coordinators, same story. Lose a close game against a good team. Ohio State was not in their A game. I told you last night that I felt sneaky good about this game. I thought that the Huskers could give Ohio State a run for their money because I think the Buckeyes were going to overlook us going into this one. I was right. We played well on defense, but we didn't do enough on offense. What we, Enough's enough. Enough is enough. Matt Rule needs to get rid of this Marcus Satterfield guy. Awful. Again, Ohio State's defense didn't play great either. Their secondary was awful today. Their defensive line did a good job, but besides that, their defensive coordinator, their secondary was not good. And Ohio State fans will tell you that. And we couldn't take advantage of it. Our quarterback did not show up when it mattered most. He played all right. I thought Dylan played all right at times. But again, in in those biggest throws, he has shown throughout the year that he cannot make those plays. Again, our, our offense coordinator is completely incompetent. He went back to those screens all day long. Newsflash, screens do not work in this offense. You don't want you want to know why they don't work? Because we don't have good perimeter blockers. Our offensive coordinator's entire game plan was centered around our biggest weakness offensively. Again, it boggles the mind. And shout out to our running game. It actually started going in the second half, but we went away from it once again. And we started getting too fancy. We were driving down the field and we put in Harburg for the play for no reason. You know, where we try this trick play. Again, the offense is just, it's so, so frustrating to me because, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy we played well. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy that. We were in the close ball game, but again, we're living the same nightmare. I'm not going to sit here and be happy about a moral victory because we lost. I'm not happy about a loss. Again, we did enough. Our special teams finally showed up. We had three made kicks today. So we didn't lose because of special teams. We didn't lose because of defense. Why did we lose this ball game against an Ohio State team that didn't care about us? They weren't game planning for this game very well. We lost because of offense. Man. we Again, it's just one of those, we just, a game of missed opportunities. So it's like we're living the same nightmare with Scott Frost over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, and it will not stop anytime soon. I'm frustrated about this game, guys. Nebraska drops to five and three in a heartfelt battle, but 
once again, Matt Rule can't win the big game. I mean, that's what people told us when we hired him. You know, they said, oh, Matt Rule can't win the big game. Baylor fans said that to us. Temple fans said that to us. Panther fans, of course, were very mad about it. And they said, Matt Rule, you know, he could be a good coach. He can rebuild you guys, but he just can't win that big game. We fought hard today. But Matt Rule and his staff couldn't do enough to bring us across the edge. And that's what's frustrating about it. But shout out to the defense. Shout out to the special teams. They did their job. I'm I'm just sad. You know, I, I, I'm not even angry. I'm just sad, man. I'm just sad. I thought things could have been different. Shame on me for thinking things could be different. Shame on me for believing in this team. Shame on me for buying into us in the fourth quarter when we took the lead and saying, oh my goodness, this might actually happen. Shame on me for believing. I should have known better. Never believe in Nebraska because they'll just rip your heart out of your soul just like they do every single week. We play UCLA next week. Let's see what we can do. Play at home. Let's get the win. Let's clinch ball eligibility, and let's go from there. Game balls. Offensive MVP goes to Dante Dowdell. Played very, very well. And then defensive MVP, this entire defensive line just played very well today. Jamari Butler, uh, MJ Sherman had a good day. Ty Robinson had a good day. Everybody on this defensive line gets a game ball. And then John Hull gets a game ball. Special teams. Um, I thought the boys played all right. The offense didn't do their job. The coaches failed them. And once again, as Nebraska fans, we're sitting here pretty, pretty mad, pretty pretty pissed off after a Nebraska loss. All right, guys, let me know down below. What are your thoughts? I will be live right now talking about this game, so make sure to join me on my live stream. Uh, but let me know in the comment section your thoughts about this game. All right, guys, I'll see you. Have a good one.